Hi and welcome to my new video. In this video I would like to show you whether or not there is a difference between the group by key and distinct operations in Apache Spark SQL. So I decided to record this video and also to write a blog post about uh, this topic because I found many places saying that group by key is better that, than distinct in big data workloads and I was not convinced uh, by this by this opinion and that's why I decided to play a bit with Apache Spark to see whether or not there are the differences and spoiler alert if you don't have time to watch the whole video at least for the queries I've analyzed here I didn't see any difference so if you know some workloads some queries that uh, that have this difference in the execution time for the group by key and distinct uh, please share them in the comments. I will be happy to play around and to understand what happens under the hood. So anyway, uh, let's take focus on these examples. And I have done some yeah, more or less complex queries. So uh, in the first query, I will simply return distinct logins from my user's data set. And uh, yeah, let's see what is the generated plan by Apache Spark. Okay, so the last prints are not relevant for this, but anyway, uh, so yeah, that's the execution plan for the select with group by operation as you can see we have a single shuffle that uh, deduplicates the log the users by the login column and what uh, is the plan generated for the distinct for the distinct you can see that it's always an aggregate the same aggregate generate that uh, the same aggregate um, previously so we are doing a single shuffle uh, with with the login to get a unique logins in the data set so globally the plan is the same and this kind of queries you can use them to deduplicate the the data in the data set and as an alternative you can also use the drop duplicates on this login column so let me run this once again and you will see that surprise surprise the plan will be the same for all of these three statements so you can see once again that's let's show it that's the first plan for the group by key hash aggregate on top of login that's the plan for the distinct, as previously showed, hash aggregate for the login. And that's the one generated for the, the duplicate. And you can see that the duplicate is also an hash aggregate uh, using the login column. So generally, if you use the sample queries like that, there shouldn't be a difference in the execution time because under the hood, the physical plan remains the same. So what uh, when it comes to more complex queries? So uh, that's my that's my guess why um, there is an opinion if about more performant uh, group by key execution. So here we can see that I have I have a select count login uh, from users group by login and another query select count distinct login from users and indeed let's execute it you will see a difference in the execution plan but the difference is is normal so the first execution plan for this count login has only one shuffle so it will run a partial count for each login on the input partitions and later shuffle the same login to the same shuffle partition and do the final count. Whereas 
if you check the second execution, you will see that we are doing uh, two shuffles. We are doing the first shuffle to keep only unique and uh, distinct logins. And we are doing later the second shuffle to count the number of the distinct logins. So already uh, you see that the semantic of this query is different. In the first one, we are counting the the number of logins in each login group. So if I have some duplicate logins, one login group will have more than one. And what we should do is uh, to have the same semantic, we should count all these groups. So, and by counting all these groups, we would introduce this extra shuffle because exactly like here, we would have the partial count for the groups and later the global count that will that would accumulate all these groups to a single place and count how many of them are in in the data set so the the plans are different but the output is different too and it explains why why they are not the same by the way i will just show you that the output is completely different so for the count we will find uh, one value and for the group bug we will find a uh, one value per group so so that for the count a uh, query involving aggregation and now i will show you a query i found in the book in the sql cookbook So yeah, if you look for some complex queries or for for something that uh, to extend your SQL knowledge, I can recommend this uh, book, SQL book by uh, Anthony Molinaro and Robert Robert Nikraf. So I put the link in the I put the link in the description yeah. in the blog post, which is linked in the description of this video. But anyway, the query the query will do some self join on the table and find uh, try uh, you will try to find the reciprocal rows sorry not the pay rows so by the reciprocal rows we mean the row that have the same values in the columns but on different places so here i have a one row with 70 and 90 and uh, the reciprocal row will be this one with 90 and 70. so so this query so i will remove this data set it's not uh, useful so in this query we can we can write this query as a distinct on both columns or like a group by on both columns and you will see that as previously the execution plan the physical plan is the same so that's the physical plan for the distinct version you can see that we have a one join and later we have an aggregate to count the distinct groups and the same you will find the same plan for the group by version because we have the join and later we have the shuffle to keep only a single uh, row for for the group so and why does uh, does it happen this um, why the distinct node is converted to the aggregate it's because of one logical rule which is called replace distinct with aggregate and that they, as you can see in the description will convert any plan with distinct operator to a plan uh, using group by so globally and since it's a logical operation, it happens before the physical execution. So if Spark, that's why Spark, at least for the queries I analyzed in this video, Spark will execute them the same way. So if you want to discover the same thing, but in a written format, I invite you to the article, which is linked in the description of this video. It was Bartosz Konieczny for waitingforcode.com. Thanks for watching.